Ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed ready for the main event of the evening. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First, ladies and gentlemen, joining us to the red corner, the boxing legend from Mexico City, here he is, Marco Antonio Barrera. He's really going for it, Marco Antonio Barrera. Oh, a picture. He's getting reception, Marco Antonio Barrera. He of miles from home. I'm delighted that the cheers outweigh the booze because if you're a boxing man you must respect Marco Antonio Barrera, one of the all-time great fighters, world champion at three different weights, won 17, sorry, seven world title fights and an incredible record, 72 fights, 65 wins, 43 knockouts. He deserves to be applauded all the way down the aisle and into the ring. And I'm glad to say most of the people here are doing just that. Well, his legend is well known in Mexico, and he's also well known here in Manchester. There's some sombreros in the crowd. He's mainly cheers as Marco Antonio Barrera and his entourage, which includes the legendary promoter Don King, makes its way to the ring and just coming to the left of us now as we get our first glimpse of Barrera this evening. And there's King, following him in, and uh, making sure he's covered every option. He's carrying the Union Jack in his hand, the United States Stars and Stripes, and the Mexican flag. Very big, were they? <laughs> They're rather sheepish compared to the security guys. Herrera is in the ring. In a and now, ladies and gentlemen, gown. joining us to the blue corner, please so welcome boxing before. sensation well, literally, of course. in England. Introducing in this kind of situation, Amir in this kind of big, big Khan. fight. And it can't, hasn't really. And there was only two fights ago that Khan was knocked out inside 54 seconds by Raiders Prescott here at the Amiens Arena. And since then, Khan has regrouped and he's gone to California to train with legendary Freddie Roach. Oh, I think so. 18,000 fans in here and reminds me of the night when Ricky Hatton beat Costia Zoo in this arena in the early hours of the morning. Khan in a red satin dressing gown. He understandably looks a little apprehensive out here, Khan, bouncing around on his toes. He couldn't have had a better preparation. Um, you know, he's been with Roach now, total, I suppose, of about 12 weeks in all for his last two fights. He has uh, six weeks before Christmas when he came back and he stopped um, Shane Fagan in London in a couple of rounds, and then another six weeks ahead of this one. Whereas Fagan was a relative walk in the park. This fight could well see Khan going to deep, deep waters. Now, yeah, well, yesterday was Red Nose Day, and let's hope this is not going to be Khan's Red Face Day. Well, we've already seen two of the house fighters, Nicky Cook and Enzo Macanarelli, knocked over and stopped this evening. Now we can uh, only hope that Amir can stop the hat trick of British defeats. Uh, so far, it's been a disastrous evening for British boxing and Frank Warren, their promoter. Let's hope that uh, Amir Khan can turn the tide. 
and at least have the crowd leave the arena with a smile on their faces. I tell you what, Frank Warren's got a smile on his face at the moment. He's just caught sight of Don King. And he's uh, 15 flags in his hand and a little uh, smile from uh, Ladies Frank and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the MEN Arena here in the heart of Manchester, England as Frank Warren, in association with Don King Productions, www.frankwarren.tv and the Queensbury Fight Network, as sponsored by Russian Premier Vodka and Planet Hollywood, present the featured bout of the evening, live and exclusive on Sky Box Office. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, the President Gilberto Mendoza Supervisor Bartolome Torralba, along with the World Boxing Organization, President Francisco Valcarcel Supervisor Istvan Coco Kovac. Along with the British Boxing Board of Control and the steward in charge is Jeff Bolter. Introducing to you our three judges scoring our main event from ringside. From England, John Coyle. From Spain, Jose Martinez. And from England, Terry O'Connor. Introducing our third man to the ring, our referee in charge. He'll be giving instructions the, after the introductions. From Leeds, England, Dave Paris. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA International and vacant WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, the time has come. Live from Manchester, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, a true warrior of the ring. Entering the ring, wearing blue trunks, he weighed in at nine stone, nine pounds, a 135 U.S. pounds. In his remarkable career, he has compiled a record of 65 wins, six losses and one no contest, with 43 wins coming by way of knockout. Having won his first world title at Super Bantamweight in 1995, he defended it 14 times before winning the world titles at both the featherweight and super featherweight divisions. A veteran of an incredible 28 world championship bouts, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the seven-time three-weight category champion of the world known as the baby-faced assassin from Guadalajara. Jalisco, Mexico, by way of Mexico City, introducing the one and only Marco Antonio Barrera. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, stands a young man who really needs no introduction on the Shores. Entering the ring wearing red trunks, he weighed in at nine stone, eight pounds, eight ounces, for 134 and one half U.S. pounds. In 2004, he was the British sole representative at the Athens Olympic Games, where he proudly came home with a silver medal. His professional record stands at 19 wins, only one defeat, with 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, making the first defense of his title. Here is the former WBO Intercontinental Champion and the current and reigning WBA International and Commonwealth Lightweight Champion. Please welcome boxing's bright young sensation from Bolton, England, introducing Amir. Timekeepers at the bell, Gary Brennan and Colin Roberts. Our referee in charge, Dave Paris. I spoke to you both in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Shake hands, boys. Come on, shake hands. Good luck to you both. Okay. Well, Dave Paris gives his final instructions ahead of the fight that everyone's been waiting for. Amir Khan against Marco Antonio Barrera. I'm joined ringside as ever by Colin Hart. 
Good evening, Colin. Your pick on this one. Well, as I've said many times this week, Khan should win. He's young, he's fast, and he's big compared to Barrera. But there's always that but. One mistake, and Barrera will swoop. Well, the Mexican legend won world titles in three different weight categories. He wants to become the first Mexican to win world titles in four different weight categories. And he holds a win over Nazim Hamad. He's been to these shores before and won as well. Right. Yeah, so I saw him fight Lloyd um, at the Albert Hall and destroyed him in a couple of rounds. And I also saw him, of course, totally outclass Nassim Hamid in Las Vegas, but that was eight years ago. And now he's 35. Only a couple of fights ago, though, he went 12 rounds with Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's sparring partner. And that was Khan. Hands with the left hand. They try to get behind him. Caught Barrera a little bit off balance. He has to be careful, though, Khan. As Colin said, he's got these fantastic attributes. He's amazing hand speed. And he's bigger than Barrera as well. And if he gets careless in here, then it's going to be a good night. I saw him on the floor twice against Braders Prescott in this very arena just seven months ago. And who would have thought in such short a time he'd be fighting a legend in the form of Barrera? I mean, the instructions for Khan is simple. Hands up, chin down. And also, Freddie Roach, Khan's trainer, has been saying all week that Khan's chin isn't that bad. Well, tonight we'll find out. Well, I hope we don't, Ian. I hope we don't see have to find out. I hope Pereira doesn't land on his chin. This is uh, dangerous now. Pereira's cut. Pereira's cut. He was cut six weeks ago when he had a warm-up fight and he's cut again. To presume that it is the same cut, but it's on the top of the head. Pereira's on. It's a little bit shaky feet here as well. A brilliant start by Khan. It's a bad, bad cut too. Oh, I don't see. I mean, I know we're a long way away from it, but it looks ghastly from where we're sitting. It's on. It's on the top of the head. It's running down into the left eye. And Pereira was cut at the end, at the end of January. The end of fight. Khan has him backed up. The crowd really get going here and uh, Khan has to be careful. We've already seen McInerney and Nicky Cook this evening get drawn into wars. This is going Amir Khan's way in the first round. Good left hand as well. He's got Barrera very much on the back foot. He has to be sensible here, Khan. That cut is now gushing blood. I see this being stopped, Colin, unfortunately. Oh, I'd, hate to, I'd hate to see him stop on the cut. It'll be so inconclusive. So early on in the fight. Bloody wins as he goes back to the corner. We'll try and catch a look at it on the monitor, but he's being surrounded by his corner men. Khan boxed absolutely brilliantly in that round. He was so quick. It was a clash of heads, Colin. Yes, it was a clash of heads. It wasn't a punch. It was a clash of heads, and it was Barrera. It was Barrera's head that went into Khan. It wasn't the other way round. And oh, it's, it's on the forehead. It's on the forehead. It's maybe in not such a bad position if they can get that patched up. It is. It's not the same cut. No, it's that he, not. Uh, that he suffered in January. I no, it was, was because of the position. It was, no, it was in the. It was on, a, on his eye, on, a, on an eyebrow. That's right on his forehead. But it's a long and deep one. But I think uh, Khan is sitting quite calmly in his corner. It was certainly a brilliant opening three minutes by the British boy. Incredibly fast hands. And uh, he was all over Barrera like a rash. But. We've said time and time again, he must not get careless. And I'm sure Freddie Roach has been telling him that during the minute's rest. Well, Barrera may have to go for bust here. I think the cut isn't quite as bad as we first thought. Well, it's not in such a bad place. He said that the blood will run down and into his eye, which won't help his vision. He may open up again. We'll have to watch that one carefully. Near Karna, boxing behind this jacket, has a good uppercut. Bouncing around again. It's Khan's cut. I think uh, Khan may have a cut around the left eye, I'm not sure. I'm just saying on the inside of the uh, of the eye. That was probably done with the same clash of heads. We didn't notice with all the drama 
with that blood gushing down Barrera's face. Nadi notices uh, the, the cut has opened up again now. Barrera's face is a mask of blood because they haven't been able to stop it flying down his forehead. That is good. Triple Too jab. Deep. Triple jab there from Khan. And it goes to the body as well. And he has Barrera backed up. Just 22 Amir Khan, the 13 Barrera. year age gap, and Barrera. he's making it pay at the moment. Sorry, Colin. No, I'll tell you, Barrera can't cope with his speed. No, he can't. He's forced to hang on. It's a great start from Amir Khan, but it's, it's nervy. It's much like we're watching uh, Enzo Macarelli earlier. It's no that Barrera lands. One clean shot, it could be all over for Khan. But so far, so good. Of course, this could be the end of Barrera's career if he gets beaten by Khan. It could be, yeah. She said it. And it could be the end of Khan's career if Barrera was to knock him out. So much riding in this crossroads fight. And at the moment, Khan is boxing very, very intelligently and is well on top. Well, we said size and speed would win this fight for Khan as long as he doesn't make any stupid mistakes. It's good for Barrera, four punch combination, but Khan covered up now, he comes back with a jab. He's forcing Barrera backwards. And now Barrera catches Khan with a left hand and Khan forced to hang on. And back to his corner. Now the re running repairs will be done in both corners. You can only one, watch one corner at a time, and uh, that cut is so deep on, uh, on Barrera's forehead. No, 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 so Dean Powell working on it in the corner. Come on, why am I seeing that on there? Particularly, uh, James James at the moment. James. I thought Barrera had a good closing uh, 10 seconds or so of that round. He caught Khan with the left hand. Seconds out. Uh, well, well out punched in that round. Now the Frank, Frank Warren on his feet. Screaming at Amir Khan. Use, use the jab, use the jab. They haven't done much with that count, have they? Really? On Barrera's head. The corner. They need somebody who knows what they're doing in there. Nail biting stuff here at the uh, MEN Arena. We've only had two nice. rounds. There's been so much drama already as Khan again boxing to instructions from Frank Warren sticks out the jab. That was the game plan. That's what they've been working on in California. Boxing uh, Barrera from distance now. Khan puts Barrera in a headlock. Nervy, nervy times here in Manchester. Probably shot there from Barrera. Yeah, he dropped the right hand as well. That's Khan covered up well. The cut's open again in Barrera's head. Nice combination that from that. And they can't. Yeah, you see, that was it. Significant. Khan took that right hand on his glove. Yeah. He's keeping the, uh, the gloves higher. And that's why, oh, Barrera nearly lands with a right hand. Better from Khan. Drives Barrera back across the ring. Punch combination. Barrera felt each and every one of those punches. He's so tough, the Mexican. No shifting him. It's a better left hand from uh, Khan as well. He's closing down the, the ring well at the moment, Barrera. And more plus sprays from Barrera's head. There's a bit of blood to a Mexican, though, Khan. Exactly. Khan covers up well. Just has to 
keep his concentration. Pereira's trying desperately to cut off the ring to slow yes. Khan down. Then I'm trying to trap him in a corner. But Khan is too elusive. Now the blood gushes from Pereira's head. It's a really nasty cut. It's pouring down his face at the moment. Pity that, uh, that can't, I can't see how much longer he can go on with it. To be honest. It's when, uh, when Khan lands, he's landed with a couple of right hands in this round, and then the cut just, just pours blood. They'll need, a, they'll need a blood transfusion there, and if this goes, any, if this goes much longer. You know, you know, head cuts do always bleed badly because the, uh, the veins are so close to the, the head. It's affected Barrera in the last minute or so, hasn't it, Colin? He's not been uh, able to see as much. He probably can't see those right hands coming. He's, he's blinking now in the clinch, Barrera, as he tries to change that whole rubber back. As the bell goes... He's not going to give up, though. The bell goes to the end of the third round. I make it three zip for uh, Khan without any, any doubt whatsoever. But... Uh, so that cut is too long and too deep for the corner to do very much with it. All they can do is patch it up for a few seconds, but it soon starts bleeding again. How ironic, Colin, this fight was in danger, wasn't it, because of the cut that Barrera picks up. That, hurt, that cut's healed, but it might be the second cut on the top of his forehead on the left-hand side as we see well, it there on our cameras. Now, may force the fight to be called up. Now, referee Paris is going over for the first time to look at it as the corner, as the Barrera corner men are working on it. He's looked at it and he's backed away and uh, I don't know whether he hasn't said one more round or anything like that. I'm not sure, Colin. One finger up at the round four. Does that mean one more round? I, know, I couldn't really look read what he said. I don't know whether he's just pointing at someone in the corner and saying something. Well, it's it's cleaned been, it up again, haven't they? Well, yes, but as soon as uh, Khan lands a punch, it will start bleeding profusely again. Absolutely. Khan just needs to keep his concentration here. It would be it would be such a shame if this fight has to end because of the cut. And it would be. Khan on top of the first three rounds and a fury of punches with the left hand there. I'd say Pereira's not beaten yet, believe me. Talking time. He is in it. He's cutting down the ring again, isn't he? Yeah, trying to. to into the ring now, Paris. The crowd are booing, but they, a lot of them are a long way away from the ring, and uh, they can't see how bad this cut is. It'll be, it'll be such a shame if this fight was ended because of it. I think the doctor's not happy. I can't obviously see what the doctor is saying. I can't lip read. We're just we're watching the pictures here, from the blood is pouring down yeah. Barrera's face, isn't it? And the doctor's having a conversation with Barrera, and I don't know... Yeah, they're letting it go on. I think the rare is saying, at least let me finish the round or something like that. I can only guess at what is being said. But uh, I think the rare have talked the doctor out of stopping it. Well, Barrera's going to have a go here at Khan. And maybe his only chance of uh, winning this fight. It's uh, now or never for Barrera. He does absolutely. He needs to chase after Khan. Try and get lucky as Khan. Nice there. Two or three punch combination. Mr. Pereira backed up again. Will he try and play possum here? The uh, makes some great right up. I left up a cut from Amir Khan. Sends the uh, the blood the blood spray. Three 
stabs as well from Khan. No reply from Barrera. Oh my heavens, that cut is hideous. It's opened up even more. This fight over as soon as he goes back to his corner, I would think. I can't see how he can come out for the uh, fifth round. Oh, just has to just keep boxing here. Keep sensible. You know, Khan has boxed brilliantly in this fight. He's, he's followed his instructions to the letter. But, you know, we can't deny that Pereira has been hampered by that uh, terrible gash. But he can't complain because he did it himself. Well, he did it. was a flash of hate in the first round as the bell goes. That's it. At the end of the fourth, Pereira okay. again wraps the fight away. He doesn't look very happy, does he, as he goes back to his corner. He doesn't look a happy camper at all though, Marco Antonio Barrera. So he's, he's boxed off by Amir Khan so far. Yeah, as I say, Khan has <coughs> done everything he knew he should do to win this fight. There's much dispute, is there, Colin, that Amir Khan at the moment. He was 40-36, uh, four rounds up on the uh, judges' scorecards. But it's certainly on my and I'm sure it is on yours. I mean, Barrera can't get into this fight at all because Khan is too quick for him. I mean, it's not only hand speed, it's foot speed as well. John Warren again looking very animated. Again saying to Khan, just to use a jab as Barrera's uh, corner still work on the cut. I don't know why the crowd are booing. They could see this cut close in. They would understand that uh, it's remarkable that he's con continuing. It's taken a good 10 seconds for. As they touch gloves at the start of the round. He's been sp sport in a very sporting spirit. There's a lot of respect in that. Huge respect from Amir Khan for uh, Pereira. If Pereira didn't have respect for Khan before tonight, he'll have it now. And he just tries to stalk in Khan again, Pereira. He's trying to close the ring down. Too quick for him at the moment. I don't know how bad Khan's cut. Wonderful left right combination then from the rock Pereira's head back on the shoulders. For uh, a legendary figure, he's been given some of a boxing lesson by Amir Khan at the moment. Khan can't miss. On the right, left as well. His uh, hands are beginning to drop a little bit. He's uh, backed into his own corner. He's beginning to look his age now, isn't he, uh, Ian? He's beginning to tire a little bit. I just thought at the start of uh, this round, I didn't want to speak too soon, but it seemed to be a of a lack of snap in his punches. He's plodding after Khan, but he's not throwing too much. And Khan's just able to pick him off at the moment. He's picks him up the right hand. And Khan puts his hands up. Barrera's face once more, a mask of blood. Now the right hand from Khan have opened up the cut. Khan just has to... Has to do exactly what he's been doing. Just nothing else. Jab and move, jab and move, jab and move. Hands up, jab and move. This phenomenal hand speed is really too much for the great Marco Antonio Barrera at the moment. Paris, uh, he's, out, he's making the doctor have yet another look. I think this, this might be a Barrera shaking his head as well. I think he's resigned to Barrera. At this time, the doctor's going to say, no more, son. Now a long conversation. Here in that. It's all over. Amir Khan has stopped Marco Antonio Barrera on a cut. But to be honest, Colin, the stoppage, or at least a win for Amir Khan, appeared to be well on the cards anyway. Oh, he was, he was skating it. 
the point is there will be the cynics who say, oh, well, the only one on the cup. But he was well on top from beginning to the end of the fight. But it is a shame that Barrera has to go out in this way because uh, he's a great fighter and uh, he would, you know, come just, as I've been thought, too quick, too big, and uh, I would think Barrera's career is over. <laughs> and we could see the start of another great, great phase in British boxing. <clears throat> and Khan can now look forward to a bright future because he obviously knows how to box to, uh, to instructions. Well, Pereira walked back to his corner wincing. I tell you what, we'll have a lot of stitches put in that cup. I don't know how many, but there'll be quite a number. It was a nasty, nasty cup. I'm sure he was wincing not only from the cup, but from the amount of stick he took as well, Colin, because it was one-way traffic, wasn't it, for it five was. rounds? It was. And Amir Khan... But it, I mean, we needed that win. British boxing, when I say we, I mean British boxing needed that win. Well, it did oh. after what we'd seen this evening. Enzo Macarelli and Nicky Cook both knocked out. It really was crunch time for Amir Khan. He needed to deliver. He needed to put a win out against Marco Antonio Barrera. And when the pressure was on, he delivered 100%, didn't he, Colin? I don't think he put a foot wrong in that fight. He did not. I'd say he carried out his instructions to the letter. And uh, it wasn't difficult to uh, analyse the fight before it started. He knew what he had to do, and he did it. Um, but it, as I say, you know, it is, it is a shame that Barrera was stopped because of that cut. But I'm amazed he went on as long as he did with it, because it was horrendously deep. Colin, while, while we're bigging up uh, Amir Khan, we've uh, got to lavish some praise on his trainer. Fred Ladies Rose, well. and yes. gentlemen, we have the time of two the, minutes, uh, 36 seconds in round number five. Our referee in charge, Dave Paris, stops the contest upon advice of our ringside physician due to an unintentional and accidental cut. Now, ladies and gentlemen, according to the rules of the WBA and the WBO, we go to the scorecards in a technical decision. After five rounds of boxing, the following are the score totals. Judge at ringside, John Coyle, sees it 50 to 44. Terry O'Connor and Jose Martinez both scored about 50 to 45. All three in favor of the technical decision winner, Amir Khan.